People can earn money if they can keep from laughing. Here are the gentlemen who are going to create the last rush tonight. Our comedy guest stars, they are first, Mr. Gary Muldeer. Thank you. And Mr. Paul Mooney. Paul. And Bill Kirkenbauer, Billy Baby. And they will be working in just one moment against our fabulous contestants as well as our celebrity contestant who is playing for big prizes for one of the lucky people in our audience. Our celebrity contestant today, ladies and gentlemen, is a fellow who co-starred on the show called Starsky and Hutch. His name is Antonio Fargus. And help me with it. And here's how we play the game. Each of our contestants faces three comedians one at a time for 60 seconds. They earn $1 for each second. They don't laugh. If they last three minutes, we give them all the money. Our contestants are in the audience. I'm looking for a young lady named Debbie Fagan. Where are you, Debbie? Hey, Debbie Fagan. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Debbie. Nice to see you. I almost missed you, Debbie. <laughs> oh, I... How you doing? Hi. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Don't be nervous. Where are you from? Alabama. Alabama? Where in Alabama? Yeah. Where from in Alabama? Birmingham. Want to play the game? Uh -huh. You know how it's done, don't you? Mm -hmm. Okay, a dollar a second. I'm going to turn you around. We're going to start. I'm going to say, Gary Mule there. Debbie Fagan says, make me laugh. Here we go. Hey, hey. Nice to see you. Sorry I'm late. Did you laugh? Uh, yeah, I hope they're good. Um, do you think cookies were invented by Alexander Graham Cracker? <laughs> Just checking. Um, let's see what's on television tonight. Wow, I didn't know TV got out of fold out. <laughs> Great, huh? You like that? Yeah, that's fantastic. Well, let's see what's on television. Warsaw documentary, the man who tried to ski back up Everest. Uh, <laughs> Tom Snyder interrupts himself during an interview with the guest cast of Ice Station Zebra. <laughs> CBS movie, Don't Back Up the Pinto. Uh, ah, real people, that's a good show. A contest is held tonight for the most humorous physical handicap. Also, John Barber does Who's On First with a Mirror. And a beauty contest runner up is forced to congratulate the winner. Well, we don't want to see that. See. Ironside suffers mental strength. Oh. Paul Mooney. Paul. Debbie Fagan. Paul Mooney. Hi, Debbie. Hi. So you're from Alabama? Mm -hmm. Well, how are you all? <laughs> how are you doing? Well, the name of the game is she laughed, and we have to laugh, Debbie. We got you. But you got it for, what, $70? Did you have a good time? Love it. All the way from Alabama for seventy dollars. You're on television, and thank you for being on Make Me Laugh. <laughs> Debbie Fagan, ladies and gentlemen. Hi, guys. How you doing? Well, here we are again. Here we are again. Hi, Just buddy. to talk to you. Hi, good to yeah. see you. Nice to have you on the show. What are you, uh, uh, Gary and uh, Bill, you in a movie together? Yeah. 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 Uh, Gary and I are in a film called... What is it called? Uh, it's called Skate Town USA. It'll be out very soon. Really? And me and, and I... It's a producer uh, applauding. And a lot of... Uh, 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 Murray Langston, who's been on here. Yeah, and you know, uh, Dick Dunlop's Dunlop. in it. All the guys yeah. in the show. Yeah. Right? yeah. I I'm in a black film. What is it called? Uh, <laughs> no, it's called Gidget Gidget's a Colored Friend. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, ready? I'm looking for a person named Rick Moore. Where are you, Rick? Hey, Rick, how are you? Hey, hey. Oh, shut it up, 
first. <laughs> hey, Rick, welcome to the show. Thank you. You're a happy guy. Yeah, well. Also a tall guy. You like to laugh a lot, obviously. Well, uh, I'll try, try not to. You try not to? Yeah. Well, if you laugh, we love you anyway, you know. Well, Where are you from? What, uh, Venice, California. Venice, California. Yes, sir. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Play the game? Yep. Okay, I'm going to turn you around. You get a dollar a second. I'm going to say, Bill Kirkenbauer, what's your link? Rick Moore says, make me laugh. Here we go. Hi, Rick, how you doing? Fine. You said watch your legs. <laughs> I see you kind of have the same kind of thing that I have. You know? Well, or don't have. <laughs> but you know how you want to look at it. Yeah, okay. I, we're at B for a while, you know, and I, uh, I wanted to get one of those toupees, but I didn't want to spend a lot of money on it. So I invented the kind of toupee myself. Make a lot of money, I sell it through the mail. Eight bucks. Bill Kirkenbauer's super duper hand toupee. <laughs> well, you like that, huh? Boom it over there like that. You can do a little impression. Huh? Down that for a Beatles cut, huh? <laughs> of course, if you're going out for the EV, you make that into a nice bouffant. <laughs> or a ponytail in the back there like that. <laughs> like that, you ought to get one of these. <laughs> Don't want to buy one? Ain't got eight bucks, huh? <laughs> That's right on. Here comes Gary Mulder. Gary, Rick Moore. How are you doing? Well, it's time for the news. Ah, uh, whoops. Sorry about that. Well, good evening. It's time for the news. I'm Gary Mulder. These are tonight's headlines. Ah, uh, big headlines today. Big footsteps on Dr. Scholl, film at 11. And right now, <laughs> President Carter attacked by a pair of socks. That's story in a moment. <laughs> First, a big scene from North Dallas 40. You got yourself some nice prizes, and we like you for laughing on Make Me Laugh. Thank you. Rick Moore, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, it's time to meet our next contestant who is, uh, is gonna, uh, uh, wait a minute, there's a flea in my car here. Denise Wolford. Where are you, Denise? Hi, Denise. How are you, darling? Nice to see you. Good to see you. Sit down, Denise. Sit down, Denise. Welcome to the shoe. Thank you. Got a lot of freckles, Denise. I know. Now we play this game? Yes. If you don't laugh, you get a dollar a second. If you laugh, it, we throw you in a pit and give you some prizes. Okay? You want to give it a shot? Yes. Okay, I'm going to turn you around and we're going to say Denise Wolford. I'm going to say Paul Mooney. Denise Wolford says, make me laugh. Here comes Paul. Hello, Denise. How are you? Hello. Yeah, pretty girl, too. Thank you. Uh, Denise, did you know that the first heart transplant, you know about heart transplants, mm -hmm. right? The first one, they took an African man's heart and put it into a white man's heart. He lived for six months and died on the dance floor. It was tragic. <laughs> you go to movies? Mm -hmm. uh, there was a movie I saw that was kind of insane. It was about killer bees. They're on their way from South Africa, and nothing can stop them. They were little black bees with big naturals. <laughs> little razor blades. You like that? Mm -hmm. Do you know any fairy tales? Uh-huh. You do? I've written a book. Maybe you can help me with it. I, I think it's going to be a hit. It starts out like this. Once upon a time, there lived a little boy. His name was Little Black Sampo. His mother's name was Little Black Mumbo. His daddy's name was Little Black Jumbo. They stood around and ate gumbo. Bill, Denise, Denise, Bill, Bill, Denise, Denise. Nurse, doctor asked me to bring you my stool. <laughs> he said if I came in that he could tell whether I was okay or not by looking at the stool. <laughs> well, there it is. <laughs> How are you, dear? <laughs> no. <laughs> Almost got you. 
New from Cape Kiel. Be the first on your block to own your very own stainless steel, period. <laughs> Are people not sure when you've completed a sentence? Well, now you can be definite. You can say things like, hey, let's go to the park. <laughs> Come on, baby, let's go in here. <laughs> one point ago, one more ago, that's the lunatic. Gary Mulder, Gary Denise, Wolford. Right. Ladies and time for the news. Good evening, I'm Gary Mulder. These are tonight's headlines. A United Airlines 747 jetliner defected to the Bolshoi Ballet today. <laughs> According to FAA spokesman Mikhail Barishnikov, the plane will be assigned to a troop in the Aleutian Islands where it will be limbering up on the Alaska pipeline. More at 7. But first, another scene from North Dallas 40. <laughs> okay, boys, this is a 47 around the end. Have the planker go out left on 7. What do you mean the game's tomorrow? <laughs> and now back to the news. Now, this stuff gets good. Don't worry about it. <laughs> California Governor Jerry Brown on a picnic today accidentally stepped into Arizona and Mike Kerr passed a bill endorsing dumb suits, narrow views, and chubby cheeks with your hair comb funny. <laughs> ah. Confused... Whoa! Whoa! Thanks, Gareth. Today she said it's three minutes. That means 180 bucks. That means 360 dollars. That means you're on Make Me Laugh, and we thank, thank you. you. Denise Walters. Yes, sir. Hey, we'll be right back after these words. Don't go away. Don't Because on TV you look black. I don't know you're Puerto Rican. <laughs> you know, I read a lot. And um, what, what show is that you on? What's the name of it? S and H. No, the show. The show. Starsky and Hutch. Oh, the real Village People. It's an interesting show. Um, I read a lot, and uh, I always read. Like white people see monsters, you know that, all over the world. The Loch Ness monster, Abominable Snowman, Bigfoot, Square Toe, Little Butt. They see these things. Right? <laughs> I just wish one black person would see one monster and get them the six o'clock news and say, "I saw it. I saw the monster. I saw it. I saw the cornbread monster." <laughs> He had gray, big old black eyed pee eyes <laughs> and green hanging out his pocket. Just once I'd like to see that. You know something else we never see? We never see UFOs. I just think why do we have all the money they can afford to look up? All right, Antonio. Doing good. Here comes Joe Cousin. Bill, Antonio Vargas. Hi, Antonio. How are you doing? Uh, oh. You know something? You're about to be a part of history. I'm so convinced that I can make you laugh. I'm going to do a long distance, make me laugh. Hold that. <sighs> All the way over here, Antonio. <laughs> I'm so confident I can make you laugh. You can't hear me. <laughs> I'm so confident I can make you laugh. I'm going to wait for the last couple of seconds. Doesn't this look like this a giant zebra back here? Oh my God, this giant orange zebra! Hey, baby, how you doing? <laughs> well, we're coming up, Antonio, but I'm going to get you. Down to the last ten seconds. Hey, Antonio! Whoa! <laughs> you got one more to go. Who is it? Oh, it's Gary Mulder. Gary Antonio Fargo. What a cheap trick. <laughs> oh, Good evening. Once again, it's time for the news. I'm Gary Mulder. These are tonight's headlines. Confused, confused boat people land in Bismarck. That story in a moment. But first, <laughs> Gerald Ford says he may run again. President Carter pardons Sarah Jane Moore. That story in a moment. <laughs> 
Explorer scout Kevin Miller of Bander, Illinois, set a new knot tying record today by completing a Gro Joan Crawford sheep shank in a little under six and three-tenths seconds. With one hand, while in the other hand, he balanced three fingers of bourbon with a lit Chesterfield, all under the impression and the pressure of a 6 a.m. wardrobe fitting. More at six. Got more at seven, but first, the public service announcement from the Los Angeles Chamber of Commerce. Come to L.A. It'll take your breath away. Now, back to the news. Federal Food and Drug Administration announced today that red dye number two in edible products is harmless, but the food may be dangerous. More six. <laughs> well, there's a pleasure. you one right now. Johnny, tell them I'm all about it. Stan, you've won them all. The luggage, the vacuum cleaner, the dishwasher, and the vacation in Panama. They're all yours. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Antonio says, well, why do I get it? Antonio, you get a ride home. Thanks for being on the show. Antonio, Paul, Paul, where are you from? Cerritos, California. Cerritos, you want to say hello to a friend of ours? Who, who's coming up there? Gary, say hello to Paul from Cerritos. <laughs> hello, Paul. How are you? Okay. Nice to see you. Let's see here. Um, have you heard about the new television show where cows fly in orbit? It's called Cattle Star Galactica. <laughs> hey, yeah, hi, how's it going, Gary? Hey, there's the mic. It's not his show, it's your show. Oh, no, sure. I'm going to get the Make Me Laugh t-shirt. How about that? You like Thank that? You. Okay, you got it. Good luck to you. Hey, you've been a terrific audience. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you next time. Some of our contestants have received the following. Make Me Laugh t-shirts from MCR Products Los Angeles, made especially for purchase by Make Me Laugh viewers. MCR Products, 9100 Sunset Boulevard, Los Angeles, California, 90069. 